My name is Donato and welcome to today's video where I'll be talking to you about the three Nike tears. Oh yes! <sighs> Oh yes, my friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you haven't seen me before, yes, my name is Donato and I talk about all things running, activity and all types of things. And today I'll be talking about these three beauties here, these three beautiful Nike shoes. But before I go into that, just a little bit of the admin. If you are new and you do enjoy this video, find it useful, do give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. And I think some people say click the notification bell. If you do that, brilliant. Apparently it helps this channel. Thank you so much. Digging in to these shoes. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. You've been busting to hear me talking about these shoes for a long time because whilst I've been doing the marathon training and right now I'm in week six, days away from uh, my uh, next marathon, my first marathon of this year, and I've been running in these three shoes and I'll explain what the three shoes are in no, in no particular order. On this side here, we have the Nike React Infinity Run shoes. Here we have the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent. And here we have the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent. Yep. Now each of these Nike has a specific role for them. And the purpose of this video is to give you an intro to, I'll be doing a talk on or video talk video on all three of the shoes separately in detail and I'll be going into depth but I just wanted to do a quick summary intro and do a bit of a I don't know spoiler alert yeah in terms of what these three shoes are prepared on I'll show you some results from three separate runs in these shoes over a period of I think it was 20 days 25 days and I done a particular run the run that I done I do quite regularly is a uh, what I call a tempo type run, four sets at five minutes at tempo pace, and it's in zone three for me. That's what I do, so I've done those runs in all of these three shoes, and I was quite shocked, and the reason why I wanted to do this video and do a review of the three shoes is to give you my viewpoint on what I think of these, and also the actual results, the scientific proof of how they worked for me. I need to stress that we're all different, we all wear shoes differently. We all have different size feet and pronate in different ways. So my results may not necessarily match to other people's results. At the end of the day, it's my view and I think that's why you're watching this. You wanna hear my viewpoint. What can I say? In summary of all three shoes, I think they're all fantastic in their own ways. I think they are great, and but they're very different to how they've been uh, sold to us by uh, and marketed by Nike. In this particular order, these React Infinity runs are marketed as the everyday running shoe and you can run for miles and miles and miles. This is marketed as the Tempo Training Run shoes in support of this shoe, which is your racing shoe, marathon racing shoe. That's right, yes. So a marathon racing shoe, training shoe and the long run shoes, everyday run shoes. Now in this one, you might see that it's a bit... Um, it's a bit grubby because I've already done 500 kilometers in these. So uh, I've done a fair bit in those ones, whereas these ones I've only ran a couple of runs in them. This one, I think I've done about five runs in these, including that uh, tempo session. And this one, I've done a number of runs. This is the Zoom X, where I've done quite a few runs in these. And I also ran that 5K PB, only by a couple of seconds, but uh, yes, it was a PB. So. In terms of how they felt, I'll go into the detail of, of each of the particular shoes. But the net result from that tempo run is, whilst they're all advertised to work in a certain way, and as I say, spoiler alert, I mean, I'm already quite a few minutes into this, but each of these shoes came back with within seconds of the splits, the same times, within seconds, four or five seconds difference between each of these and it varied depending on because the uh, where I do my training there's a slight uphill and a slight downhill depending on which way you're running so the times are going to vary a little bit because of that anyway but in terms of effort the effort was pretty much the same 
and uh, yeah, it, it shocked me. I was expecting, obviously, if these are marketed as the everyday running shoes, I'd expect these to be slower. If these are marketed as the tempo training run, I would have expected these to be faster. And of these race shoes, these should have been nice and steady and certainly quicker than this shoe, yeah, the everyday Nike React. But all three were the same. So my friends, that's the intro to my three Nike tiers, the Nike React Infinity Run, the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent, that's quite a mouthful that is, isn't it? And the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent. All very different shoes, and I'll go into detail all three of them over the coming weeks so that you can assess yourself in terms of how, what you think of these shoes. And I'd love to hear in your comments below, have you ran in any of these shoes or these three types of shoes or similar shoes? Because we're marketed to in a way now that we should have um, more than one shoe in our quiver. And uh, if I was to have just one shoe, because when I started running, it was just one shoe, one shoe that I trained in and one shoe that I ran my first marathon in, I think it was three hours 47. It was the same shoe that I trained in, and that's the only shoe that I ever had. And I'm sort of beginning to wonder is do we need to revert back to the one shoe um, in terms of training, running, and so on? I'd love to hear your thoughts and views on that. And I know, again, there's some schools of thought that if you rotate with different shoes, it reduces the risk of injury. Um, I don't understand the uh, scientific evidence of proving that because. If you're training well and looking after your body, that in itself reduces the risk of injury. In fact, this particular shoe here, the Nike React Infinity Run, is marketed by Nike to effectively reduce the risk of injuries. So if you're going to do all the training, then shouldn't it be in this one? Anyway, that's just my view. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this in some way and I look forward to sharing with you the three videos. I hope you're looking forward to it too also. Um, because at the end of the day, they're all very different shoes and there's a lot to talk about and I'm going to go into detail in all of these. So that's just my quick summary, overview. Um, apologies if I've spoilt the fun for you, but you know I don't think there's a need of watching hours and hours of videos just to see what the uh, pointers are and how they feel because a lot of guys out there and gals buy the shoes based on they want to do a particular type of speed and run and think by buying this, it does that. But um, yeah, I was very surprised. So I'm looking forward to sharing the detail with you on these three shoes. So that's me done. That's the three Nike tiers. I look forward to seeing you at the next videos. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye.